Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. Hi Geminis, this is going to be for November 2019. And I realize that we are on the 12th day, this is when I'm filming it on the 12th of November, but it doesn't matter. Energy is fluid, okay? Everything is as it's divinely meant to happen. I'm a fellow Gemini, I'm a Gemini rising. So, you know, right now Mercury is in retrograde and Mercury rules Gemini. So let's just go, okay? Reminder, this is general. This may not resonate with everybody. If it resonates with you, you'll know. This could be for sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. This can also be for the cross watcher of the Gemini. Here we go, Gemini. 2019. What's going on for Geminis? What's going on for Geminis? Wow, the Knight of Wands. Impulse. That's what I see. I see impulse. Some, something happens impulsively or you are impulsive. S impulse. Something running through your veins to pulse. Very like, this is something very passionate. Knight of Wands comes in really quickly or it's haste, hastily. So you got to be careful because sometimes with the Knight of Wands, it can be very, very quick to come and very quick to leave. Something with impulse here. Something happens impulsively or you are impulsive or something. But there's also the thing about the pulse, the, the veins, the something rushing through your veins. This can also be adrenaline too, adrenaline junkies or something with the adrenaline. Ah, oh, the six of cups. This is the card of deep soulmate connection. Something could be coming back from your past. A very deep soulmate connection. a child here too because there is a child in the six of cups card and then we also had the son and she's holding a baby oh the baby thing is just non-stop on my instagram it's still sitting here on my live today xi underscore missy underscore xi i also pulled the baby from the past life oracle cards that was gifted to me from braille this weekend i had a beautiful surprise iris bought me the eight coin tattoo tarot deck that i used in my moon magic reading and then um Braley bought me the past life oracle cards and the zodiac oracle cards okay the sun is also leo energy but the sun is like truth and illumination someone may impulsively say yes say yes to the dress Ooh, you have the magician and the king of pentacles someone you want to know what i just saw someone proposes to you impulsively and you're not quite sure if this is a really deep soulmate connection and this is the one and this is it or if it's like not are they like the magician where they're hiding something because you know the magician may not always be this great energy right of this powerful person or whatever this sometimes the magician is someone not revealing their whole self to you magician don't let you know all the secrets they're very i mean they're the magician it's not what it appears with the magician right do they saw the lady in half or is it the illusion of that see that's what that's the thing with the magician it can be very illusionary also you go i, I feel like you have all these options or you may have two options i don't know there's options and like someone may propose or someone is something that's impulsive and you don't know gemini now this is not helpful for gemini and as a fellow gemini i understand gemini's are very indecisive to begin with then you get something like this they go oh my god shit i don't know gemini's are also the twins of the zodiac right the duality of them Yes, I'm very, very sure. This is Gemini energy. Yes, 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 yes. Tomorrow. Oh, no. That could be this, an impulsive thing. Something here happens impulsively. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> so Gemini energy. They're so sure. And then they change their mind as quickly as they were sure. Just they're, they're, they're literally the Knight of Wands energy. Ah, the Ten of Fucking Cups. 
something here is everything and i feel like one thing is and one thing is not does that make sense it's like you're presented with things and your gut tells you one thing is is a snake or it's some something just fuckery with one of them and then with another one it's like your soul screams oh my god it's the six of cups it's the ten of cups it's happily ever after it's fairy tale it's the one it's the one it's the one it's the one, it's the one, it's the one. but then like which one is it though which one is the real one is what i'm feeling like and you're afraid to make the wrong choice and sometimes when we're afraid to make the wrong choice we don't make any choice how will i know it's the right one everything in my gut will tell me so if you have gone through all of the lessons and you're out of that karmic cycle, you would be able to spot a red flag from a million miles away, wouldn't you? At this point in time, right? At this point in time, I can smell a rat. A rat is a rat is a rat is a rat. A fox is a fox of a, you can just, you can smell it. Being afraid to make the wrong choice. What's yours is always yours. What's yours will be magnetically attracted to you. What's yours? It's almost like talking yourself out of something too. See, four of cups. Well, what if I'm wrong? What if it's not that cup? What if, what if, I, what if I choose this cup and I don't like it? Complete indecision makes you not choose a cup. So it's a standstill, basically. It's a stalemate. It's like the hanged man energy. It's suspension. There's a pause. There's nothing happening. I think what it could have been was I was so sure, I was so sure, I was so sure. And then, or opposite, no, 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 no. And then yes. Something is quick and impulsive. Whether it's a yes or a no, or it's a back and forth. The ace of wands. And death, something either ended really quickly and started or started and ended really quickly, like really fast. For some of you, it's a reconciliation. Also, someone from the past wants to come back in to reconcile. You have this big fat ruby over here on the top of this ace of wands and rubies are the stones of reconciliation. Someone could come back into your life very, very aggressively at the very last second, impulsively and want to reconcile. It's Mercury retrograde. Be careful when people want to come back in during Mercury retrograde. I wouldn't put too much eggs in one basket when people come in during Mercury retrograde. No, I would not. No, I would not. You'd have to give that some time. I wouldn't. If someone proposed to me during Mercury retrograde, I'd wait it out. That's just me, boo. Could be Scorpio with death here. But it's also during Scorpio season. There's a rebirth here. Some kind of rebirth wants to happen. Or something could have happened quickly, like one little thing turned into a big thing. Oh shit. Oh, oh my God, it's the four of wands, it flew. Oh my lordy lord, yesterday was 11-11. See, it's marriage or reconciliation or union. Someone wants to reconcile with you. And it's the thing about do I or don't I? Because are they being serious or are they not? Listen, don't make any huge serious commitments during Mercury Retrograde. It's just always been the rule of thumb that everybody seems to come back during retrograde because it's a time of redoing. And sometimes it's just to restitch things because they weren't stitched up very well the first time. It's the time to reanalyze and possibly reconsider. But it doesn't mean that you're going to take it. Shit, if it ain't for you, it still ain't for you. Right? If it's just not a match, it's still not a match. But this is a new beginning with somebody. Somebody wants to reconcile with you. Or you want to reconcile with somebody, Gemini. Take it as it resonates, okay? Oh, Lord. All right, we are going to continue this in the extended version i'll do a whole new spread and some oracles 
And if you would like to purchase that reading, click on the link below. And if not, I will see you guys later. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions, you guys. I love you. Bye.